Yo! What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Jack, and I'm coming at you with Wi Fi here. Or should I say I'm coming at you through the Wi Fi? That sounds kind of like boomer language, but you know what I mean. What's up? You know what's a really fun thing to do? Make videos. It's probably like one of the funnest things ever. And I can prove it because I mean, look, look at look at what's going on right now. You're watching me through a video and I definitely wouldn't be making videos if I didn't enjoy it. First of all, right now your boy's rocking sub 500 subs, so I'm not making any money off this. I'm doing it because it's something I enjoy doing and it's something I definitely see myself doing in the long run as well. But just like all fun things, there are some parts of it that are not so fun. Like, huh, I don't know. Editing? Okay, no, editing's kind of fun. It's just the repetitive parts that get really annoying, aka um, getting rid of clips that you don't, don't want to use, maybe trying to add subtitles and just annoying repetitive stuff like that. I'd rather cut that and get to the fun stuff, but it's never that easy. I usually have um, a few different stages of editing. Whenever it's a commentary based video like this, I'll usually import all the raw footage into Sony Vegas and then I'll watch through it and I'll cut out every single silent part manually. So so, I mean, I watched the video all the way through, cut out all the silent parts or maybe like some mess ups if there is any of that. But there's never mess ups, I swear. Your boy's too good at this to mess up. <laughs> That's a lot. But yeah, after I look through all the footage and cut out all the silent parts, which is a stage that on its own could take several hours depending on how long the video is. After I finally do that, I go back through the video and then I start adding actual edits like, you know, the intro, maybe some zoom ins. Uh, I work with the music and sound, all that. And, you know, this is whenever it starts to get fun and cool. But whenever I finish all that, the time that it takes me to do the actual fun edits usually doesn't take as long as it takes me to go through all the footage and cut out all the silence and all that repetitive boring stuff now a lot of people have kind of realized that this is an issue there's a lot of big youtubers and people out there who have tried to solve the issue by making tools and scripts and stuff like that and i've seen a lot of um i want to say kickstarters for people wanting to like start up tools like this and a lot of those are from like years ago and they just never came off the ground so although quite a like quite a few YouTubers out there have come up with their own solutions to automating some video editing processes, it's almost like they're never done in the most efficient way possible, or they simply just for whatever reason never get released, which uh, kind of sucks because I've been looking into this for actual years now, genuinely. And I've thought about making my own tool, but your boy loves to procrastinate. It's like one of my skills. It's probably my top skill right above cooking one minute soup in like 50 seconds. That's a useful skill. I'd say the guy who came closest, or two of the people who came closest, released them as scripts. One guy made a tool that cuts out a bunch of silence and stuff in videos, not for video editing, but so he could watch his courses for, I think, college or something really quickly, which is smart and genius. Uh, he did leave his scripts and stuff open source, which is awesome sauce. And then we have another guy who uh, didn't necessarily do silence removing edits. Instead, he tried to make a tool that would make actual fun edits for you, which is not something I really plan on utilizing because that takes away the whole artistic. I don't know what I was going to say, but yeah, I'm not doing that. Anyways, I'm looking at how they went about their scripts and stuff and even using some parts of the script from, I want to say his name, Sayukar. I'm going off memory here, but it might be Sayukar or something like that. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. And I took his scripts and expanded upon them upon them massively. If you're watching this like way in the future, um, let me uh, fill you in on some cool stuff real quick. First of all, currently the world is in a pandemic, so I can't really go outside and do stuff. So I've had a lot of free time in my room. So utilizing my free time in court and using some of the scripts from Sayukar, I'm so sorry once again if I'm butchering your name. I went ahead and programmed an auto video editor. Now, not just some scripts and just like stuff like that because although those are helpful, they're not very user friendly and there was a lot of ways that um, Sayukar scripts uh, could have been improved upon, which I did. And making use of FFmpeg, which is an open source library for uh, video processing and all that, your boy went ahead and made his own tool. The engine and all the stuff that actually processes the video is done in Python while the UI itself is is, uh, coded in C-sharp and I tried to make it as user-friendly as possible. You open it up, choose your videos, whatever, and it shows all your videos and stuff at the top and then you give the program a list of instructions. So there's edit silence where you, where you give it a volume threshold and you have it cut out all the clips that have a volume below that threshold and you can choose for it to jump cut them or to just speed them up which I guess you could do some kind of cool edits with that. You can generate subtitles, which is something I'm still working on improving upon. It does generate the subtitles, but I am working on um, 
proper time mapping. I hope that's the right term. I have no idea. Actually, by the time this video is released, I probably would have already fixed that. So there's probably no point in me saying that. And you can also adjust things like, you know, basic resolution, frame rate, blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows about that. And render it and have it edit your videos. It'll put all the clips together from top to bottom in order while applying all the same edits to them. Or you can have it export them as separate files, which I guess is also cool. As if like none of that was cool enough, you can also export your videos as a GIF with like full retained quality and everything, which is crazy. And it defeats the whole point of it being a GIF because no one's browser is going to be able to load that at least no more than they would be able to load the video form of it. But I mean, it's there. It's available. Hello. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Hi, Gio. Look, my dad's scaring me. Oh my gosh. This is my family. This is my life. Welcome. Where's grandma I'm at? But let's go say what up. Hello. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Hi, Gio. Look, my dad's scaring me. Oh my gosh, this is my family, this is my life, welcome. Where's grandma I'm at? Now, he actually just pointed out, he's downstairs, he actually just pointed out that I said that every vlog was gonna be about him. So at the end of this vlog, I'm gonna make it a little bit about him. <laughs> but now, he actually just pointed out, he's downstairs, he actually just pointed out that I said that every vlog was gonna be about him. So at the end of this vlog, I'm gonna make it a little bit about him. <laughs> But all those hours that I spent doing like mindless cutting through clips and stuff like that, the tool now does for me. It's all automated, which is something I've been wanting for years. I've mentioned this years ago. And the reason I didn't do it sooner is beyond me. Probably just lazy. And once again, I'm a god at procra procrastinating. I don't make mistakes. So, uh, as of the uh I can't talk as of the time I'm recording this. This tool is only available on Windows platforms, but I do plan to port it to Mac and even mobile at some point. Now I have put like endless hours of work into this. Like you don't understand. I've probably put in the equivalent of like weeks of work into this. And I don't mean weeks of like just a few hours a day. I mean like all of it, obviously not in a row straight, but like in a, in total time I've spent working on this. I spent like the first week of developing this waking up coding and then going back to sleep i'm sorry did i just hit the mic was that loud i'm sorry waking up programming then going back to sleep waking up programming then going back to sleep waking up it goes on and i did this for like a week straight it wore me out and now i'm just like passively working on it while also trying to operate as a normal human being you know as normal as a human being can be in a pandemic when the world is in quarantine and you have to stay inside anyways but i also had a lot of help from some bug testers so i mean special thanks to the people on screen for helping me with this they've stayed up countless hours with me helping me bug test a bunch of random stuff and without them the tool wouldn't be as polished as it is now so all of the most tedious boring repetitive parts of editing is now all in automation i did not develop this tool to replace other editors such as sony vegas and premiere this isn't supposed to be like the only thing to use to edit your videos i'm not competing with those guys so there, there. This is more of just a video prepper to help you automate a lot of your work that would otherwise be repetitive and tedious and probably is the thing that gets a lot of people to dislike making videos. The tool is available now. It's not free. I'm sorry, but it's also really cheap. Like, um, I definitely recommend getting it. It's a one-time purchase. I'll have all the links to it in the description if you want to go ahead and download it now. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess this is like my little promo to that. In the video you're watching now, I probably edited with auto video editors, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Jack. I got Wi-Fi and I'm out. Why'd I do that?